back to a brand new YouTube video. And so, you probably just watched, I'm not even gonna lie, the funniest YouTube video I've put out, thanks to my brother. Um, pretty funny. Uh, something he said is just out of pocket, but it is what it is. I was just, oh, look who it is. Thanks. I got mail. I was just telling them, uh, you, you just put out the funniest YouTube video out there. Anyway. So actually, we're going to start off with Saturday, so let's start that now. We got the music going. My music. Is that how we roll? I already did my pause temple squats I did. So I just did 380, not too crazy. It's at six. Not supposed to push it that hard. Right now, I got high bar. I already did one set. Doing this, then we got log pause bench after. And then we got some accessories. Then we'll see what happens. I might go to the Odyssey meet, I might not. All depends on what the case is, but it is what it is. So I don't know, I don't know what Kyle said as I unrack this, but I don't, I don't know if he said anything about commercial gyms, but like people, people think here, that you are so entitled and you can do whatever you want, right? Whatever. But there's so many things that are so annoying about it. Like, people think they own the equipment, they can take the time they want, all this kind of stuff. It's whatever, I really don't care. You do you, I'm gonna do me, it's all that matters. Focus on you, I am not in your way at all. Also, the equipment sucks, so that's the other <clears> thing. <throat> the one thing about commercial gyms is the fucking benches, bro. I hate it. You gotta do the whole goddamn yoga mat on the skinny bench. It doesn't do shit for you. It fucking sucks. Anyway, you got three second, well, two second pauses. But I do three, because I'm a G. Get the setup. See, I'm already fucking slipping. Too late. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so that's the case. So I actually did end up going to the Odyssey Winter Open just to support like Eugen, Cody. That's really it, honestly. A lot of people, all the dance kids all did well. So, very proud of you guys if you're watching this. So, I was going to record a lot more. I only got Eugene's two, first two squats because I didn't know that local meets turned into a national level meet regarding cameras and all this stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to cause a stir up now. It is what it is. I'm just gonna leave it in the past. But local meet, make sure it's actually local and don't come back, don't come from like five different states. That's all I'm gonna say about that too. Just a little hint at that, cause it's whatever. But I'm gonna head to the gym. This is the final week before meet prep. So we're in for something big. So we got bench today. Got a single at seven to eight and a four by four at six, so. So we're gonna do a song of the day for every type of, just like every day of my going to the gym or like gym song, top set song, something in that nature just because my music taste is probably all over the place and a lot of people actually hate it but I really don't care because this music is actually getting me going. So I actually found this song the other day when I was posting on my Instagram story and I was like wait let me look it up and see if it's actually like worth it because why the fuck not so the thing is I can only play up to 10 seconds of it so you guys are gonna have to get 10 seconds of it so let's get to it so the song of the day is demons around times guts rage 
So if you all know, I've been reading Berserk, and I've fucking fallen in love with it. It's probably, I'm only four volumes in, but it's one of the greatest stories I've ever read in my life. So, just a couple seconds. All right, that's all you get because I'm gonna get copyrighted. But shit is so hard. So I'll see you at audio. complain about it this thing sucks that's all I'm saying but still we get the work done um, yeah so I dropped a 259 keep it easy no work to do let's go so just finished up with today's bench day honestly I think it's a success just because I hit that on the fat pad last week but it was a little rocky like around here and honestly we want to train on just a regular comp pad just because we don't really know what we're competing on. So we could be training on a Alico, an ER rack, Texas Strength, but Texas Strength also has a fat pad now, Rogue, Ghost. I don't really know what the rack is for Legits. They'll probably announce it when the time comes. But that's kind of the idea that Isaac wants me to do and what I have to implement. So I throw away, honestly, moved very well. I think it was one of the best. 308s I've had on a regular comp pad, which is a dub. Mr. Daniel! Hello! We have the number six 90 in all of USAPL history. Right history? Now. I don't not know all not, that. not history, Jesus but... Jesus Christ. How we doing? Dude, he's like getting kind of jacked. Like, you see the vascularity? Like, oh my god! You're making me nervous. Yeah, ah. happy United States on that arm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Throwaway felt good. 275. First set of four... Not too bad. I just dropped it, but this is what it is. Doing my cardio because got to get that blood going. Got to be active. So there's that. But let's see that. Rockstar Beats.
attached the rack on the fifth rep. Pretty bad. I lowered it before today too, just to make sure, and it didn't help. So in situations like that, where you can keep going, but like you're nervous about it, you just gotta shake it off. Completely forget about it. It's in the past. You leave the past alone, you're fine. Just focus on the present and move forward. That's all that is. So yeah, when I hit when I hit it. Yeah, obviously it freaked out a little bit, but then after, took my time at the top, shook it off, went back to work. That's all it is. So, two more sets. Let's go. Oh, hey. Bam! See that shit? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I figured why not jump on the camera and see and show you guys what I got. So... Two videos ago, I complained about the Notorious Lifts and how their quality is kind of going downhill. And I kind of need a replacement because in the long term, I'm obviously not going to stick with them. So I need something to do that. So I decided why not do something that I like in regards to this. So I picked up the One Huns Villain Trainer 2.0, whatever they're called. Obviously, they screened my name because of the Akatsuki and how I have the Akatsuki sticker on the back of my belt along with my love for anime. So, with that, I decided to try them out. These, I took them out of the bag earlier and was in utter disbelief. The quality on these is actually insane. The quality was actually insane. Like, I took them out and I'm like... This, there's no way like these are actually a shoe compared to notorious lifts. These are actually ridiculous like ridiculous this, These already beat notorious lift. I obviously haven't trained in them yet So I can't really give an honest opinion on them, but Just the shoe itself is beautiful the look of it the feel of it. They have memory foam in them so they feel a lot better with my foot so naturally I don't have an arch, so these can just mold right into it, and I'll have that flat foot no matter what. So that's great. The strap, I pulled it all the way as I can. It's not too bad. I might have to double sock it just for these, just because I like that tighter feel. Um, but these feel great, man. I love them. They look clean, too. You can tell they put a lot of work into the shoe, so that's cool. I might test them out today on bench. If not, I'm going to test them out tomorrow on deadlift for sure. And then on Saturday for squat, I want to see if this is like a shoe I can go for, for all three of my lifts rather than have like a bunch of different pairs for my lifts. So with that, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to bring you guys to Odyssey today, show you my last Wednesday of the block. And from there, we'll get going. So I'll probably head out in a couple hours. So I'll see you then. Cool. Today's song of the day is Another Life by Motionless and White. Bang. Bench went very well, not too bad. Um, I fit 259 for eight before, but I'm going to take that because that was on a fat pad. So this was on a regular pad, a lot better, a lot cleaner too. Learning to control it more, not to rush it. That's definitely been helping out. The only thing is after squats, just because I've been going wider, with my hand placement, I do have like fatigue in my arm and it sucks. No matter how hard I recover, it just like, it's always there. So just hitting some shoulders, taking accessories late this week, just because I don't want to go into prep too fatigued. So get to it.
day. Holy shit. Arguably, I think that was my best deadlift day probably of all fucking time. Um, like, kind of looking back at the last, like, year or so, going from sumo, going to, like, failing constantly, never being consistent with it, to switching over to conventional and then, like, get kind of tanking because of squats and then coming back up and all this shit. And now today, like, so, story behind it, it wasn't, the only thing that was a PR was the 44, 45 for four. Um, I've never done that before. Never rep four reds at all. So, 500 reps, 500 for reps, right around the corner. So, the story behind the 551 and why I got excited about it is because the last time I hit it, I obviously overshot the fuck out of my single ruined it and then i needed a deload and like i that's where i kind of went into my head and i was like what the fuck am i doing like you're better than this all this kind of shit so i beat myself up for it and then just came back and then honestly this block has been amazing so pulling that at like a seven and a half was was like a cherry on top bro you fucking right there you get that whipped cream that cherry bro over over so just having that we're really we're really in for something big so i'm gonna cut the youtube video here and i'm going to start up a prep to national series so what i'm gonna do i'll probably highlight a weekly thing of some of my best training for the week kind of is going to depend i will be back at school next week so there's also that that's the other thing that's kind of going to see some changes for so Definitely be in it for that, but yeah, I'm going to start a prep series similar to some uh, former athletes and people of the sport have done for nationals and stuff. So I'm going to do a road to collegiate series, and then we're going to basically just every week be something regardless of what it is, life, all, all this kind of stuff. Definitely going to do like a full day of eating almost eventually at one point just because we do have to watch our weight i am three four pounds over nothing too crazy which i know some people are like 10 pounds over and then they do the whole gut cut water cut all that kind of shit honestly what i could do is i could just go to the sauna the day before sweat it all out and we'll be fine so i'm gonna track heavily nutrition when i go back to school and all that kind of jazz and then sleep everything so i'm gonna you're gonna see literally everything i do for a prep Something I've never done before, something I'm excited to do, and all that kind of stuff. So, with that being said, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Let's get this, this, the YouTube's going good. I like the trend that's going up, so let's see if we can take this off. So, if you didn't know, liking the video pushes the algorithm, commenting the video, subscribing. So, please, 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 I, please, just please, please help me out. Um... Other than that, I appreciate the love as always and the support. With that, get your fucking protein in and I'll catch you in the next video.